Hi everyone, this is just a kind of a trailer for the upcoming battle report on Black Powder, Walkstrift. Um, I've been trialling the, the walls out and uh, the game's come to an end um, in the phase which represented the middle of the light, the night. and. Um, Pretty spectacular game, actually. Really, really exciting and epic. Um, as you can see, there's Zulus all over the place. The uh, garrison succumbed, but I must say, for a long time, it was touch and go. Um, there's the last section surviving, surrounded in the redoubt. Zulu swarming all around them and um, they wipe them out as I say in the fourth turn in the in the night um, the hospitals ablaze and um, they put up a good fight but history didn't repeat itself and uh, the game ended that way But a really good, really good battle. Um, it all went kind of more or less um, followed the historical course to, to begin with. The first attack came from the south and the Zulus swept round the, the hospital um, building. Um, they managed to set it alight and then um, Unfortunately, the defenders in the hospital didn't get out in time and uh, they were all um, killed in the, as the roof collapsed and um, Commissary Dalton was in there at the same time, so he died in the first turn. But then in the second turn, when the Zulus attacked from the north, from this side, um, the three remaining sections just wiped them out completely wiped the Zulus out completely um, so it looked like they were going to make an easy job of it and then the third turn um, the, the, the attack from the north um, was repeated but on, on that occasion um, one of the sections was destroyed and Chard lost his life at that point as well so that was in the third turn and then the fourth turn there were two sections left who were obliged to um, man just this end of the perimeter outside the storehouse and um, of course that was the night time I'd, I'd made a rule that um, the range for rifle fire had been reduced by a half and to kind of compensate for that um, the Zulus were the only side liable to blunders and um, I made blunders happen on either an 11 or a 12 um, and that did cause them a little bit of a problem which you'd imagine you know like more blunders likely to happen in the dark of night but um, because they they were able to creep forward really um, closely before the British could fire on them. Um, they just piled in through really good dice and uh, swarmed in, t took one section out and the other section retreated to the redoubt. But uh, they were fighting a losing battle literally from that point. Um, so there were just too many opponents to hold off for uh, um, long and uh, they ended up succumbing, so that was when Bromhead was killed as well. Anyway, I'm going to start filming a game proper tomorrow and uh, take my time on it, so it'll probably be up in about a week's time. Thanks for watching.